Okay, so we have an untitled library. Let's, I don't want 18 untitles when I'm working here because I won't know which untitled I'm working on, right? So let's be descriptive here. Um, the first thing we'll import is the, the do you guys like racing or war? <laughs> racing. racing. I heard racing first. So we're going to import the zero to hero project stuff first. Okay. So here's how you uh, change the name. I'm going to zoom in here so we can all see. All right. I have my untitled selected. I'm going to click once on it. And it's going to highlight the text for me. And I'm just going to type zero to hero and hit enter. Okay. So again, this library lives in our movies folder. We renamed it here, which Final Cut will go into the movies folder and rename that file there, which is really nice. Right. So it keeps it all in sync for you. So I already know. Well, this was created yesterday, right? So it was 916, but let's just, you know, for, uh, for brevity's sake here, we'll just rename this one uh, Zero to Hero as well. So I'm going to click once on it, and we'll call it Zero to Hero. And mine's kind of scrunched up because I'm having to use a low-resolution machine. But So now we're ready to start importing footage. Now there's a couple ways to do it. Final Cut Pro gives you three different, well, four different ways to do it. Um, and it all depends on how you want to do it. I'll just show you a couple. I'm not going to overload you with 18 different ways to do something in this class. Um, you could click either the import media window or button. That will bring up the import uh, dialog. Or you can go to file, import media, whichever way you feel more comfortable with. I know old school people kind of like the menus. And then the, uh, the, the newer people, you know, kind of like the, the button aspect. All right. So either way, we'll take you to the same menu. I'm going to hit the button, and I'm going to zoom out because this is a big window here. Okay. So here is our import dialog. And I'll just go over this uh, kind of briefly here. Um, this is a preview window. So if we were to come down here and select a clip, we would see the clip in here, and we can you know, kind of look at it and say, oh, this is the clip I want to uh, I want to import. Over here is kind of a, a quick browsing um, uh, dialog here. So you can, if you had like a USB drive you're importing something or a uh, an SD card, it would show up here under devices. So you just click the SD card and then all the clips would show up here. And you can just select them all or hit import all and it'll come over. Um, so over here, this is this is really important. Uh, you'll see the first option, add to existing event. We only have one event, so it automatically selected it. But you would want to make sure you were importing your footage into the correct event. So if we were to have, you know, 10 different September events in here, you know, and I'm working on September 17th, I don't want to import the footage into September 3rd, right? Um, so make sure you have the right event selected there. Files, this is also very important. You'll have two options, copy to library or leave files in place. Always leave it copy to uh, library. So when you import something from an SD card that lives on a card and you have copy to library, it will take a copy of that, that footage and then move it into your library, your event, on your hard drive. If you select leave files in place, all it's going to do is it's going to import a reference to that SD card, okay? So it'll show up on your computer and in your event and in your library. You can bring it down to your timeline, edit it to your heart's content. But once you remove that SD card, that file is going to go offline because it's just a reference to that SD card, okay? So you want to make sure that's always checked. Uh, transcoding, you don't need to worry about that. Um, nowadays, everything kind of works with Final Cut. Uh, so we can just leave those things unchecked. Um, everything else, you can just leave it default, really. Uh, they don't, they won't um, matter too much. If you check any of these down below, uh, that makes the importing process take longer, which um, you can always do these things after the fact, you've, after you've already imported them. So I just like to leave these unchecked. Okay. All right, so let's find our first footage here. 
So I have my desktop selected over in my favorites, okay? Or you can select it down here in, in the bottom. And I have two folders. I have my ITV practice footage here. I can double click to go into it. And there's a projects folder in there. And I have two projects that we're gonna be working on today. We've got the Civil War reenactment project and then we have the Zero to Hero. Well, the Zero to Hero is what we want. So I'm gonna open up this triangle here and just go ahead and show you that I've went ahead for you and I've kind of made it easy, put everything in, in nice little folders for you. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna import the folders. But before we do that, I'll show you, for instance, the B-roll folder has a bunch of clips in there. If I select one, you'll notice that it, it loads the clip in the browser and it has kind of like a little timeline here that I can, you know, whoa, that's loud. That I can kind of click and drag my mouse left and right and I can kind of, what's called skimming. I can drag it left or right and get a quick look to see if that's the clip I want to import, all right? Well, we want to import everything. So how do you do that? If I just select the B-roll uh, folder and I, and I click import selected, what do you think is going to happen? Just the B-roll folder is going to come in, right? So I could either select zero to hero. What do you think is going to happen? Everything is going to come in, right? So if we do that, let's go ahead and do that. Right, so make sure you have the zero to hero selected and hit import selected. Now notice the progress bar on your HUD. Right, it's moving, it's importing. One of the biggest mistakes students make, they import from an SD card. It takes a lot longer than importing from the hard drive. Noticed I hope you noticed that in the browser, all of your clips showed up immediately, but it was still importing them, right? One of the biggest mistakes students make is they see it here, and they automatically think it's, everything's imported, and then they take the card out while it's importing. That's bad jujubes, right? You'll get corrupted media. You'll get um, errors and everything. Um, so when you go to teach this back to your students or something, make sure you drill into them how important this progress bar is, okay? I'm gonna twirl down that disclosure triangle and you can see all of the folders that we imported are right there, nice and lovely. If I select the event zero to hero, it's going to show me every footage below it. Right? So it's going to show me the B-roll, the interviews, the music, the reporter, and everything. If I were to select one of the clips, like for instance, music, right? it only shows me the footage that was contained in that folder. Okay. So it's really nice to kind of, um, before you import, if it's possible, I know a lot of us work on time constraints, but it's really nice to be able to um, segment things into folders. You can always do it after the fact, which we'll probably show you uh, a little bit later.